Jarrett, what's it like um, not playing in front of fans? And is it something that you just get used to fairly quickly and, and the game takes over? Yeah, obviously it's a little bit different. Um, usually you're, you're feeding off the energy from the crowd, but uh, you've got to be able to, to adapt in, in a year like this. Uh, everyone knows that. And, you know, today was kind of the first first time I've played in a, a, an arena like this with, with nobody in it. So I was a little bit different, but uh, I think it's the same for everybody. Once you're kind of, once you're out there and you're, and you're playing the game, you're not really thinking about, uh, about who's in the stands and uh, that, the, the noise that comes with it. You're just playing your game and, and playing hockey. So uh, a little bit different, but uh, I think it'll be pretty, pretty uh, smooth adjustment for everyone. Just to follow up on something else, um, it's been, I think, I guess, two years since you made your NHL debut. Um, how, how better a player are you from that player that day? Or, or even, like, specifically, how has your game evolved since then? I think just a lot, a lot better details, uh, better overall game. Uh, you know, got a lot, so a lot of experience last year um, in every situation uh, with, with Ontario, uh, killing penalties, uh, taking big face-offs and playing power plays. So... Uh, you know, I think you just mature as a, as a player and as a person. Obviously, in two years, that's uh, that's quite a big difference. And, uh, you know, just quite a bit stronger, um, more explosive, just everything of, that comes with being, uh, you know, kind of growing into into a man a little bit more and uh, also playing against uh, older guys. Obviously, when you come in as, as a 19-year-old as and 20-year-old in the AHL, it's uh, a little bit of a learning curve, but uh, just, just stronger and I think a little bit a little bit smarter as well. Thank you. All right, next up is Daryl Evans. Hey, Jared. Uh, looking at your, your position that you play, I mean, comfortable, I think, in a couple of positions. What position do you prefer more, center or the wing, and which is easier for you to adapt to? Uh, well, I've, I've played center pretty much my whole life, but uh, also played the wing in, in different tournaments and, and different situations. Um, so, you know, I've, like you said, kind of, able to adapt to, to a little bit of both. Um, you know, I, I, I've played center, so I'm a little bit more comfortable there, but um, you know, any, any, any position uh, that'll, that'll give me a chance with the Kings or uh, with any team is, um, you know, willing to adjust to that. And I think that just comes with having an open mind and, and watching, uh, you know, the older guys in practice that, uh, that are playing wing. And even during the game today, when you're, when you're on the bench, just kind of watching guys and, and seeing what you're, you're doing. But uh, I think, um, you know, like I said before, just being adaptable uh, gives you a lot more opportunities. And, you know, that's something that uh, I'd like to think I am, being able to play in, in a couple different, uh, couple different roles and a couple different positions. So, um, yeah, I definitely uh, played, played a lot more center than wing. But, um, you know, learning, learning the position of wing, uh, you know, as we go here and, um, you know, trying to get better every day at that as well. Have the coaches communicated uh, to you in any way that, they want to see you on the wing more than center, like like maybe more of where the opportunity lays best for you. Um, not really. Uh, just uh, you know, I've been on the wing pretty much every day of, of camp here. Uh, we you know we have we have a couple less forwards um, on the team, so just you know some shifts I'll be on the wing, some shifts I'll be uh, at center, just with rotating the lines a little bit. Um, but you know I'm slotted in on the wing, so it's you know it honestly doesn't really matter to me too much. Like I said before, anywhere that. Uh, that I can get a chance to play and make a difference and, and help the team win, I'm, I'm willing to play. And overall, how has camp gone for you? You feel like you've been able to accomplish and achieve the things that you wanted in the early part of camp so far? Yeah, I think so. I think it's been, been going well. Uh, just, you know, getting your rhythm back, obviously a long layoff of, of playing no hockey. Uh, so I think uh, for everyone, it's just kind of getting our time back and getting your, your game legs back. But uh, it's able to come down here uh, quite a bit before camp. Um, uh, quite a while before camp and, and uh, be trained with the guys. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm feeling good. It's, it's great to be around the guys again. It's, uh, like I said, a long, long off season. So I think everybody, uh, including myself, is ready to get back at it and play some, play some real games here. And if I can throw one more at you, it's got to be a little bit more difficult. You're one of those guys that's kind of on the fence there and you don't have the exhibition games to kind of go out and, you know, perform on that stage. Does that make it a little bit more of a challenge for you? I don't think so. I think um, it's just, you know, using every opportunity you get, uh, whether that's in practice or, um, you know, watching, watching extra video or, you know, obviously in the scrimmage like today, it's just taking advantage of your opportunities. Uh, you know, we don't make excuses here. And uh, yeah, it's a, you, a little, probably a little bit less opportunity uh, than it would be in a normal year. But hey, like I said, that's, uh, 
you know, that's, that's 2020 and 2021 is going to be unpredictable. And, uh, you know, you, you take what you can get and, uh, you know, not using that as an excuse at all. Just uh, grateful to have any opportunity I can. And uh, I think that's big things, just making, um, taking advantage of every day, uh, practices, games, whatever it is, and just uh, showing your best every day. All right. Good luck to you. Thank you. Okay, next up is Zach Dooley. Hey, Jed, how big is, you know, today's game to, for a guy like you who's been on the bubble to kind of showcase what you can do to the coaching staff in a game type scenario? Yeah, it's huge. Obviously, like I was just saying, it's, uh, you know, there's not, not a lot of opportunities for, for game situations here at, at this camp with uh, obviously no exhibition games. So, uh, you know, today is kind of the, the closest thing we've had to an actual game without it being, you know, con uh, controlled scrimmage like we had at the beginning of camp. So, uh, obviously, the, you know, opportun opportunities like that are, are huge for, for a guy like myself and uh, just try to take advantage of that and, and show your best. And, you know, I was, I was pretty happy with my game today. Um, it's just, like I said, it's, it's a weird year. So, you know, opportunities like this, uh, just take advantage of them. With the uncertainty around this season, um, how big is it for you to have that versatility that you talked about, being able to play different positions, slot into different lines, play with different players, knowing that your opportunity could come with any group of players at any time? Yeah, it's huge. In a, in a season like this, it's, you know, it's going to be uh, kind of the next next person up mentality. And, uh, you know, a lot of things, a lot of different things can happen uh, with all the unpredictability going on. So, uh, you know, it's um, being slotted in wherever you are. It's uh, being able to play that position or play that role. And, uh, you know, being being adaptable uh, definitely makes that a little bit easier. So, uh, obviously, just working on every part of my game uh, so that when uh, when that time comes, uh, I'm ready uh, to take advantage of it. Thanks, Jeff. All right, we're going to finish things up here with John Hoven. Good to see you again. I guess sort of building on a couple of the things you've been you've been sort of talking about here for the last couple of minutes. The way that the roster is shaken out, most likely there would be a possibility for you to start the season either on taxi or even in the American League. How, how do you take a situation like that and, and turn it into a positive where, you know, maybe uh, at the end of last season, last spring, you were thinking you'd be starting opening night with the Kings. How do you make a positive out of a situation like that? Oh, well, you know, it's not the, the roster's not set yet, so I'm not really thinking about that. I'm, I'm treating it like I'm going to be there opening night. Uh, and then Coach Robo, have you had a chance to talk with him at all yet? And if so, maybe what have some of those conversations been about? And yeah, I guess just that, yeah. Yeah, nothing really, uh, nothing really one on one too much. Just uh, kind of when we've been together one on one, just, you know, just normal talk, just talking about family and kind of getting to know each other, you know, outside of hockey and just building that relationship. But, uh, he, he seems he seems like a great guy um, on the ice. He runs a great practice. He's he's enthusiastic. Uh, he's intense. Um, so yeah, I've I've heard great things about him, and uh, looking forward to continually uh, build that relationship. And then the last one just would be that so many players have talked about taking advantage of the time off, this extended time off that you know uh, in 2020. I'm just curious, is there any one player that comes to mind that you've uh, you sort of stopped and, you know, did a double take and thought, wow, this player is completely different than the last time I saw him, either on the ice or off the ice? Oh, that's tough. Um, not really one, not really one guy comes to mind. I think everybody, everyone was expected to be uh, in much better shape than they were, uh, you know, coming into a normal camp just with how much time we've had off. So I think everybody's taken strides in that sense and uh, definitely feels like that on the ice. Even the, the first few days of practice, it wasn't, uh, wasn't really easing back into things. It was, uh, you know, full speed ahead right from day one. And that's how it should be. And, uh, you know, props to all the guys for, for working hard and taking advantage in the off season to, uh, to be able to do that.